Okay, so we're going to do some um, rotational exercises with a the TheraBand, but before you start doing them, it's important that you get the action uh, correct um, so that you're actually exercising the right muscles. <clears throat> so basically, um, what you're trying to do, and I'll show you from this angle to start with, is you're just doing a rotational movement of the humerus in the socket. And what's important is that your humerus, the axis of rotation, goes sort of along the humerus like a like it's got a kebab skewer through it basically. So what you don't want to happen is this. You want to make sure that the humerus is sort of rotating about this longitudinal axis. And the positions you want to be doing these exercises in, in all uh, sort of positions really of your arm. So up here that's 90 degrees and then 45 degrees and down by your side. And I always think a good place to start is actually to imagine you're just writing, um, so you're in this position as if you're writing, and basically you're doing that movement. The other thing with all these exercises, it's important that you make sure you get stood nice and symmetrically. Um, look, look back at those previous exercises, make sure your pelvis is in a good position, make sure you're not slumped forward at your shoulders, um, that you sort of feel like your chest is open, and then you can do the exercises properly, but make sure you get the movement. And I find putting a hand on this on the opposite shoulder means you, mo you can monitor that position of that shoulder a lot better and just make sure you're getting a really nice smooth rotation. And obviously doing the same on both sides, just making sure you get the actions that you want first before you add any resistance. And like me, you might find that with your left side or with your non-dominant side, it's a bit harder, basically.